Welcome to Highline BI 348 class video number 61. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, BI 348 chapter 8, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in last video, we did a transportation problem using Excel Solver to find an optimal solution. And this is a slightly different set of problems. We have different constraints and different shipping costs. But we already ran it and got our minimum shipping costs. Here's all of the functions and variables we entered into our dialog box. And I'm going to close this. So we, we've already run this, and we got our objective function. But if we see a bunch of zeros here, we might suspect that there's an alternative solution. So I want to go back to our PowerPoints. And we looked at this slide earlier in the class. If we have a situation like this, we have plotted all of our constraint lines. And right here, this is the objective function contour line. Now notice, I have a constraint here. But if I plot this contour line, if it happens to sit exactly on a constraint, we have multiple optimal solutions. And the range, in essence, for this multiple optimal solutions is wherever the vertices are, the line between there and there, there's multiple potential x and y solutions. This is a, um, a graph of a two-variable problem. Our problem has many variables. But you get the idea. There's multiple solutions here. Well, notice when we plot an objective function contour line, we actually set it exactly equal to the optimal solution. And of course, there's multiple x and y's that will give us that optimal solution. So this is a simple graph kind of explanation of what it means to have alternative optimal solutions. So let's go back over to Excel. Well, how could we possibly solve that? And actually, over in PowerPoints, there's a slide with kind of the steps. Well, the first thing is we have to create a new constraint. We've already entered in all of our supply and demand constraints, but we need to enter one more. And watch this. It's really clever. Remember, the contour line is a line where every single shipping cost, in our case, would be exactly equal to 39,500. 39, but there's multiple x's and y's. So watch this. I'm going to say equal sign and point to the objective function. Now remember, that's looking up here. That is calculating all the decision variables times the shipping cost per unit to get the total shipping cost. We've already minimized it. But that's going to be our new constraint function. And I'm going to say it's set equal to, and the constraint amount is going to be exactly the same amount that it came out to. 39,500. Remember, the contour line always comes out to 39,500. But there's multiple potential x values. And watch this. The new objective function is going to be the sum of all of the variables that came out to be equal to 0. Now, I've highlighted three of them. Type a comma. And then I'm going to click on this one, type a comma and then select these two. So the sum of all the variables that are equal to 0. And the goal is, or the objective, is to maximize this. So it's going to search through all of the possible decision variable answers for these zeros, find the biggest possible combination of these that's exactly equal to the optimal solution in the process process, it will change some of these other ones. So you're ready? Let's try this. I'm going to click here. All right, so I've selected A23. Now I'm going to go up to Data, over to Solver. Now it's remembering the last time we ran Solver where we tried to minimize that cell. So the set objective, the new objective function will be right there. Our new objective is going to be to maximize. Changing cell is correct. We want to keep all the existing constraints, but add a new one. And the new constraint is going to be, hey, the original objective function. But guess what? We're going to make you only equal to hard-coded value 39,500. Click Add. Click Cancel. 
And now when I click Solve, I will get an alternative solution. Click OK. And there it is. So a manager can choose between alternative solutions. Notice we still get exactly the same minimized costs. All right, in this video, we saw briefly how to deal with an alternative solution situation. Next video, we're going to look at a great finance example where we maximize portfolio returns. All right, we'll see you next video.